The Consummation of the Age, The Lord's Second Coming, and the New Church. Section 1. Concerning the Consummation of the Age, that it was predicted in Daniel and in Matthew. Section 2. The Lord's Second Coming predicted by the Lord in the Prophets, the Gospels, and the Writings of the Apostles. Section 3. The Lord's New Church, which was announced as the New Jerusalem in the Word of Both Testaments and described in the Revelation. Section 4. An invitation to the New Church made to the whole Christian world, and an exhortation that they should worthily receive the Lord. Number 1. One memorable notice is to be added, namely that all things of the new church appear in the light of truth, before one in enlightenment, but as soon as they are submitted to the orthodoxy of the church at the present day, the light of truth becomes darkness. Number two, all the points belonging to the doctrine of the new church are to be explained in their order, likewise those belonging to the old orthodoxy. A. The abomination of desolation, the consummation of the age, and the fullness of time. Number one, concerning the consummation of the age and the abomination of desolation at that time. Number two, there is no knowledge of God except what is erroneous, false, or altogether none. There is no knowledge whatever of omnipotence. Number three, no knowledge of the Lord. Number four, no knowledge of the divine human, except a historical one. Number five, no knowledge of the Holy Spirit. Six, hence no knowledge of the divine trinity. Seven, no knowledge of the holiness of the word. Eight, no knowledge of redemption, except what is false. Nine, no knowledge of faith, except such as exists before a blind person, which is none at all. The case is the same with all things which depend upon faith, and which from God are called theological, and from the church ecclesiastical, and from the Spirit of God by whom they are inspired, spiritual. Number 10. No knowledge of charity. 11. No knowledge of free will, and hence no human will, thus man is not man. 12. No knowledge of repentance except oral, which is no repentance. 13. No knowledge of the remission of sins, and hence no knowledge of conversion. 14. No knowledge of reformation and regeneration. 15. No knowledge of the imputation of good and evil, and hence no knowledge of the judgment. 16. No knowledge of heaven and hell. 17. No knowledge of man's state after death, and hence no knowledge of salvation and eternal life. 18. No knowledge of baptism and the Holy Supper, which are regarded as scarcely anything else than ceremonies. 19. No knowledge of the law except an erroneous one. 20. No knowledge of the gospel except an erroneous one, and which is that it is possible for man to be regenerated and thus saved. Number 21. There is no doctrine of theology, thus the consummation is such that no truth remains. For this cause the Christian religion is torn into so many heresies. 22. The catechism is not anything. 23. The whole word is not anything. 24. It follows, hence, that there is no religion, no church, no worship, no ministry. 25. Because from all that proceeds, it follows that there is mere predestination. 26. It hence follows that because in that church there does not remain a grain of truth, thus that it is the abomination of desolation. 27. The things said in the word burst with the sound of a loud report when they are sent towards heaven by those who have studied modern orthodoxy from experience. 28. Falsities have to be rooted out before truths are implanted. 29. The fullness of time is the consummation, because time signifies the state of the church. Wherefore we read in the Apocalypse, There shall be time no longer, that is neither morning nor day, but night, neither spring nor summer, but winter. The like is signified by time, times, and half a time. 30. This state of the church has been foretold by the Lord through Daniel, and in Matthew, and in seven chapters in the Apocalypse, which are to be quoted. 31. The religion of this new church 
is not to be implanted by miracles, but by the word, and by light which is there from the Lord. This light enters and remains to eternity, but religion, through miracles, extinguishes this light, because it places the miracles before itself, and therefore it perishes with a loud report. I conversed with Paris, of whose miracles there exist two volumes, how he wrought his miracles. I learned that he wrought them through spirits who entered into the memory of the man. Part B. Abomination of Desolation Number 1. The Consummation of the Age and then the abomination and desolation. 2. No knowledge of God except what is erroneous, also no knowledge whatever there concerning omnipotence. Number 3. No knowledge of the Lord. 4. No knowledge of the Holy Spirit. 5. Thence no knowledge of the Divine Trinity. 6. No knowledge of the holiness of the Word. 7. No knowledge of redemption. 8. No knowledge of faith. 9. No knowledge of charity. 10. No knowledge of free will. 11. No knowledge of repentance. 12. No knowledge of the remission of sins, and thence no knowledge of conversion. 13. No knowledge of regeneration. 14. No knowledge of imputation. 15. No knowledge of heaven and hell. 16. No knowledge of the state of man after death, and thence no knowledge of salvation and eternal life. 17. No knowledge of baptism. 18. No knowledge of the Holy Supper. 19. No knowledge of the law except what is erroneous. 20. No knowledge of the gospel except what is erroneous, which is that men can be regenerated and thus saved. 21. There is no doctrine of theology, thus there is such a consummation, that there is no truth remaining. Thence it is that the Christian religion is divided by so many heresies concerning which... Part C. What the consummation and desolation is, and the fullness of time. Number 1. There is no knowledge of God except what is false, none at all. 2. No knowledge of the divine human of the Lord except historical. 3. No knowledge of redemption except what is false. 4. No knowledge of faith except such as is before a blind man, which is none. In like manner are all things that depend on faith and are called from God theological, and from the church ecclesiastical, and from the Spirit of God by whom they are inspired, spiritual. 5. There is no charity. 6. No free will, thus no human will, thus man is not man. 7. No repentance except oral, which is not repentance. No knowledge of the remission of sins. 8. No reformation and regeneration. 9. No imputation of good and evil, thus no judgment. 10. Baptism and the Holy Supper are regarded as scarcely anything else than ceremonies. 11. The Catechism, or the Decalogue, is not anything. 12. The whole word is not anything. 13. Thence it follows that there is no religion, church, worship, or ministry. 14. Since from all these it follows that there is mere predestination. 15. It follows that in the church that there does not remain a grain of truth, and that there is the abomination of desolation. 16. Hence there are so many heresies. 17. The things said in the word burst with a loud report when they are sent towards heaven by those who have studied modern orthodoxy from experience. 18. Falsities must be rooted out before truths are implanted. 19. The fullness of time is the consummation, because time signifies the state of the church, wherefore we read in the Apocalypse, there shall be time no longer, that is, neither morning nor day, but night, neither spring nor summer, but winter. The like is signified by time, times, and half a time. 20. This state of the church has been foretold by the Lord through Daniel and in Matthew, and in seven chapters in the Apocalypse, which are to be quoted. 21. The religion of this church is not to be implanted by miracles, but by the word and by light from the Lord there. This light enters and remains to eternity, but religion through miracles extinguishes this light because it places the miracles before itself, and therefore it perishes with a loud report. 22. I conversed with Paris, of whose miracles there exist two volumes, how he wrought his miracles. 
I learned that he wrought them through spirits who entered into the memory of the man, and who persuaded him, many things concerning them. Still Paris did not apply himself to any religion, and hence did not know anything of the truth of the church, wherefore he is at the present day with those who are in hell. Part D. The Consummation of the Age and the Abomination of Desolation No knowledge of God, no knowledge of the Lord, no knowledge of the Holy Spirit, no knowledge of the holiness of the Word, no knowledge of redemption, no knowledge of faith, no knowledge of charity, no knowledge of free will, no knowledge of repentance, no knowledge of the remission of sins and of conversion, no knowledge of regeneration, no knowledge of imputation, no knowledge of heaven and hell, no knowledge of man's state after death and hence of salvation, no knowledge of baptism, no knowledge of the Holy Supper, it hence follows that there is no religion and therefore no church, the coming of the Lord, miracles, invitation to the whole world, to the new church, there is one shepherd and one flock, and Jehovah is one.